Women all over Northern Europe have been assaulted by large groups of immigrants and nothing is being done about it. An aim for today is to find the different hopes of people in different groups and with this rise of fascism in the UK and in the rest of Europe we'd like to see how people hope to get to a better future. I'm here at Speaker's Corner, the home of free speech, where the fascist groups Generation Identity and 120 Decibels are gathered. Generation Identity have created a rebranding of fascism, which has attracted a young demographic in the UK and Europe. 120 Decibels is a social media movement closely linked to Generation Identity. Nazis come! All our dreams! Nazis come! We're here because we want to provide another narrative from that of 120 Decibels. To say that to criminalise migrants, distort rape statistics and create a moral panic is not going to help women. I'm, I'm here to listen and I'm here to add my, add my kind of body to the number that's against okay. fascism. Yeah. I, I think these people here have a point that they can't discuss issues and have been able to without being shouted down, whether by the thugs of the far left or banned from speaking in universities. They claim to be speaking on behalf of all women, on behalf of all survivors, but they are not. Skewing statistics on a propaganda push, demanding deportations and the integrity of the ethno-state and the criminalization of refugees. Why, why are you here? Like, what, what's your kind of motive? Um, I guess because I hate fascists. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's really important that when the hard right starts getting braver like it is at the moment, that we organise against it and do whatever we can to stop it. You read about a lot of things and it's been a while since I've been around people who have certain opinions and I'm kind of amazed that they have those opinions. One of the founders of 120 Decibels is Annika Francisca, who is giving an impassioned speech about the increase of rape and sexual assault facing white women due to immigration policies across Europe. Everybody says that in UK everybody is open-minded and that all cultures are very welcome. Yeah. You have this reputation, it's not really the true. Women all over Northern Europe have been assaulted by large groups of immigrants and nothing is being done about it. I guess telling white supremacists and fascists that they're wrong or picking out individuals and say, hey, you're wrong, instead spreading positive images, positive ideas. I think the only way you can make someone change his mind is by showing the example. I spoke mainly to the anti-fascist crowd as the far right declined to comment on camera after multiple attempts. Speaking to these people about their beliefs has shown me that we all want to live in a better and more equal society. But I guess the question is how we get there.